if you think about the physics of distribution, you just need three things. People have to know about your thing, they have to want your thing, and they have to be able to buy your thing. That's it. When the cloud transition got going, nobody was paying attention. AI is very different. November 30, 2022, ChatGPT comes out. The entire world is paying attention to AI. People are starting to break out. But for the most part, the opportunity is still wide open. We have believed and we continue to believe the value is at the application layer. But guess what? You got competition. We got a second scaling law. We got test time compute. We got reasoning, tool use, and inter-agent communication. That allows the foundation models to get pretty far into the application layer. But this is the race. This is where the value is gonna be. And if you don't get in front of it, somebody else will. You are in a run like heck business right now. Now is the time to go at maximum velocity all of the time. More and more of us are getting value out of AI, and we're all climbing the ladder together on how to weave AI into our daily lives. The breakout application category of the year was coding, which reached screaming product market fit. A lot of the most exciting technology innovation in AI right now is happening at that blurry boundary between research and product. And I think the two breakthrough examples of this over the last year were Deep Research and Notebook LM. Let's talk about where value will accrue in the AI stack. I remember debating this question with my wonderful partners at Sequoia at the time. My partners, Pat in particular, were adamant that the value was gonna accrue to the application layer. I think you were right, Pat. Vertical agents are a wonderful opportunity for startup founders who deeply understand the domain. And we see companies creating agents that are trained end-to-end -to, -end to excel in a very specific workflow using techniques including reinforcement learning on synthetic data and user, user data to make AI systems very performant at very specific tasks. And the evidence we've seen so far makes us really optimistic. A year ago, AI Ascent was all about agents. We were talking about agents and they were just beginning to form into businesses. The topic was really these machine assistants that eventually, we predicted, would come together as agent swarms. In the years to come, we think that this matures even further into an agent economy. An agent economy is one in which agents don't just communicate information. They transfer resources. They can make transactions. But in order to achieve that very big, important next wave, we have a lot of important technical challenges. Persistent identity. The agent itself needs to be persistent. If you're doing business with someone and they change day to day, you probably won't be doing business with them for very long. Seamless communication protocols. Imagine personal computing without seamless communication protocols. No TCP IP, no internet. We're just now building that protocol layer. Security. If you can't meet the person you're doing business with, palm to palm, face to face, that importance of security and trust is even further elevated. Eventually, these processes and agents are gonna merge. You're gonna have neural networks within very large, complex neural networks, a network of these neural networks. And this is going to change everything.